Hey guys, today's story takes us to Geneva, Florida, here in Central Florida. Get ready to have your mind blown. Watch this entire video because you're not going to believe the history we have right here in our own backyard. Come along. So when you come to the History Museum, you walk in and they've got Civil War history stuff here. Different hats, money, buttons, bullets. And, you know, this is where uh, the story goes about Mr. Powell. Let me get you a copy of the uh, Geneva Lincoln Conspiracy. So I recommend if you uh, stop at the History Center, it is run by all uh, volunteers, but they do a great job and have lots of research materials for the story. If you uh, need any, they'll get it to you. And see the different heads. We might have to hire more volunteers to come in here and help the docent the place, you know. Mm -hmm. Let me put this in a box so you can work and get it out of it, okay? That, yeah, the one doesn't have a price on the show. Thanks. They do a very good job here. Even talk about the local law enforcement. They've got some of their old stuff here. So the history museum here, guys, is something in itself that everybody should come visit. Old tools, just so much stuff that uh, you can show the kids or yourselves and learn by. Highly recommend it. Hey guys, so we're here at the First Baptist Church of Geneva, and it is located at uh, West Main Street and First Street here in Geneva. Um, believe it or not, this is where uh, George Powell, the uh, father of Lewis, uh, was the pastor of the church here in Geneva. He started this church, and uh, just kind of a nexus to uh, Lewis, uh, being buried here uh, with his mom and George's dad being the pastor here of this church. So I want to include that in the story and show you guys that uh, Geneva, Florida is just full of hist history and a lot of nexus to uh, uh, Lewis uh, with George being, his dad George being the pastor here. Um, so much you can dive into history wise about uh, what was here, what brought uh, um, George and Lewis here. Uh, was because his dad was the pastor here so uh, I thought that was kind of a neat thing bring that to you guys and we're gonna go on over to the cemetery and uh, go take a look so come along with us
All right, guys, so we're here at the uh, Geneva Cemetery, and this is where Lewis Thornton is buried. And it's not too far from the First Baptist Church where his dad was a pastor, George. So as you come in here, Geneva Cemetery, established in 1880. Very old church. Has uh, 17 overall. Civil War graves. Out of the 17, 16 of them are the uh, Confederates and one Union soldier is actually here. So pretty interesting. A little bit of both are here. Cemetery is uh, from 1880. It's pretty old. Now it's marked as a historic site I wouldn't say it's uh, well taken care of. The grass is a little bit high, but it is the rainy season. Maybe the guy just didn't get a chance to get out and cut the grass lately. When we come over here, and uh, the big part of our story, here is Lewis. So we'll walk over. where he's at. And right here, guys, is the site of Private Lewis Thornton Powell. April 22nd, 1844, July 7th, 1865. He was in the 2nd Florida Infantry, Company 1, the Hamilton Blues, and the 43rd Battalion, Virginia Cavalry of Mosby's Rangers. And the reason why he's here is because his mom, Carolyn, is right here. Carolyn Powell. And the wife of George Powell, the pastor of the church. So what's interesting, and as the story goes, is that uh, Lewis, at a very young age, went into the army, the Confederate army. Uh, at a very young age, you've seen a lot of battle between the uh, ages of 16 and 19. And he was actually wounded in Gettysburg where he was transferred to a hospital in Baltimore as a prisoner of war. And he was able to escape by uh, talking a nurse to getting him a Union soldier's uniform. So uh, Lewis did escape from captivity after that uh, incarceration. And he was able to uh, get away, come back south, and that's where... He met up with uh, John Wilkes Booth. Uh, John Wilkes Booth, obviously, as you know, was the man who killed and assassinated Lincoln. Uh, Lewis Powell, part in the uh, whole thing, was originally they were going to kidnap the president and do some exchange for uh, high, highly uh, referenced prisoners of the South. But it turned into an assassination attempt, and they were going to take out the president, the vice president, and the Secretary of State, uh, which uh, Lewis Powell was in charge of. That was his part of the plot. Now, history says, you know, he was an assassin and he assisted in this. But you also got to remember, too, guys, in history, the end of the Civil War had just occurred at Appomattox with the surrender of the Southern Army. And this here occurred five days after that and there's reason to believe that maybe Private Powell or Lewis uh, didn't know the war was over. You know, in his mind, he was doing his duty as a soldier. He was a uh, part of the Secret Service of the Confederacy. They were, you know, conducting a a mission, so to speak. So there's a little controversy uh, between historians on that, but um, some interviews, some historians say that. Uh, the clergy 
who walked into the gallows uh, believed this to be true, that uh, Lewis was not only just doing his duty, he's uh, known as a very gentle and kind soul from his, uh, since he was a baby up to his death. And uh, it's really interesting how he uh, thanked everybody. And he was very proud of going to the gallows. I mean, he uh, went bravely. Um, but he, uh, he was hung from the neck with the rest of the co-conspirators. And uh, they did die, and they were pronounced dead 20 minutes after being hung. And uh, it's a really interesting history to take a look at. Um, I would dive a little bit deeper than most on it. Um, because, like I said, there are a couple different historical angles and uh, reasonings behind the history of it. But what I'm bringing to you is where he's buried in Geneva, Florida. And uh, another big funny part, or not funny part, strange part about this whole story is his body's not there next to his mother. It's just his head. And after they were executed on the gallows, they were buried in uh, ammo boxes in a very shallow grave on the penitentiary. And their bodies were left there for quite a time. The undertaker who did the work on that day, on those four bodies, uh, I'm sorry, on the three bodies, uh, was looking to make some money. You know, he was going to get a hold of the families and uh, contact them and... Uh, get paid for his services well uh that didn't happen um the dad didn't find out about it till much later and there was a little misconception that they could come get the bodies so believe it or not lewis's body stayed there for over 20 years before he was transferred the guy who did the work on the grave or the uh the body and uh, the grave site actually uh took the skull and the body was later given to the uh, mass grave where all the rest of the bones were buried. Um, his head though was, his skull was um, separated and kept. And that actually got lost in the archives. And uh, after a uh, an audit, uh, some of the archives and the, some of the remains uh, to the federal government. They, uh, his head was misplaced with uh, Native Americans. And that's where the audit found out that, hey, we've got Lewis Powell, not a Native American head here. And the families are trying to get a hold of the, of the pieces of the body. And uh, that's how his head came to be shipped back once it was identified and brought here to be laid at rest next to his mother here in Geneva, Florida. So very interesting fate and twist to the entire story of uh, Lewis Powell. So cute you look. Hey guys. So listen, I want to thank you for uh, coming with us on this adventure here to Geneva, Florida. You know, it started off with, uh, you know, just checking into the story and then I just couldn't believe what we found. It just led into bigger and better things and uh, we're just so blessed that we were able to bring this to you. Until the next adventure, I'm Malibu and Dad. Okay, that's enough kisses. <laughs> we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.